Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can change the color and the style of the scroll bar in your Squarespace website. We're gonna use just a little bit of CSS to change up the background color and give it a border and even adjust that little slider toggle that indicates where you are on the page. Now, all the codes are listed in the description below, but there are definitely a couple things I want you to understand before you try it on your own website because you're gonna wanna make some changes to that code. So let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace and I'll show you how this works. So I am recording this in my Squarespace 7.1 demo site, but this will work for any version of Squarespace. This is a standard CSS for a scroll bar, and this is the code that's listed in the description below. I'm gonna walk you through how to adjust this code so it matches your own site style, but let's go ahead and install it here on my demo site. I'll select design, and then select custom CSS because we want this to be on every page on our site. So here I'm gonna paste the code and check it out. That scroll bar on the right hand side has completely changed. I'll go ahead and remove that code so you can watch it happen. This is our normal scroll bar and this is what we've changed it to with CSS. Now this first line changes the width. I recommend keeping this at least 15 PX wide, but you can make it even bigger if you want, maybe up to 25 if that's what you're comfortable with. This is how you adjust the width of that scroll bar. Our next option here is the scroll bar track. That's that light blue thing that it's sitting on right there. The background color, I've changed to my light blue that I like to use, but you can use a web safe color name if you want to, like pink or a light yellow. Totally up to you. I prefer using the hex color code that goes along with the branding for my site, but that's where you'd adjust that background color. I've also given it a border on the left so it's slightly separate from the website content. If I remove that line of code, it kind of blends in with the sec page sections that have the exact same background color, and I wanted it to stand out a little bit more. So that's why I added a border to the left. You can also remove the dash left and have it go around the entire thing if that's what you want, but I thought left was good enough for my site here, so that's why I've added that code. You can adjust the width of the border, the type of border, and the color by adjusting those elements there, completely customizable. Now, last but not least, we have WebKit scroll bar thumb. That right here is the little slider that indicates where we are on the page. I've changed the background color of it to a gray. You can change this to anything you want. Again, web safe color names are just fine if we want it to be yellow. It's really jarring and not high contrast, so we'll skip that. And then I gave it a border radius to kind of curve it in a little bit. Totally not necessary. If you remove that, it will be a solid rectangle with a flat top and a flat bottom there. The border radius is how you can curve it a little bit if that's the design aesthetic you'd like to go for. Now, before we call this tutorial done, I do want to mention you really should keep a high contrast for this scroll bar on the right hand side. Whatever your brand colors are, make sure it's a high contrast so your website stays accessible. That's super important. And again, to change the actual track background color, adjust this color here. And then WebKit scroll bar thumb is the little indicator that you use to see where you are on the page. That background color is right here. Just make sure you maintain a high contrast so it's easy to use. And when you're all done, select save and you'll be good to go. Those codes you'll want to customize are listed in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thank you so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.